Anyways, we are back. Uh, I'm actually going to show you now all of my digital Xbox 360 games. Um, like I said, I would... Um, from the last... Um, last video that I did uh, let me just get it here here we go let me just pull up my list here <laughs> here we go and then I can just do this make me just a little bit bigger there we go so uh, do I even have this on here no I don't oh yeah I do so this game Avatar the um Last Airbender The Burning Earth um you can still get it um hence why I have it on my account um that game was I think like five bucks or something um but, and some of these are demos and stuff like that, and so I probably won't talk about them that much. Um, that one I have uh, completed, as you can see in the bottom uh, left. There I have it completed. That took me like eight months to complete or something, just because I forgot that I had it. Th that's the problem with having so many games on so many variety of consoles, from Xbox One to PC to PS4. Um, you forget that you have all these games, and I actually don't have many games on the account, as you can see, on, at least on Xbox 360 digitally. Um, I only have, uh, 28 games. Uh, that's what I wanted. So, yeah, so, that game, you can still get... It's cheap if you want an easy thousand gamer score. It's relatively easy. Borderlands, I'm currently playing that, doing a potential um, end game, uh, not end game, but potential um, one playthrough of it probably um, at some point. Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2, that was actually um, free with the games with gold actually, and I don't have gold anymore, and I can still end up playing it, luckily. Um, obviously, we have the Catherine demo, which I'm still tr tr trying to figure out if I'm actually going to buy the full game, either digitally or physically. So, I'm still trying that out. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh... uh that game, again, I was looking for a good Dungeons Dragons game on 360, and that actually turned out to be one of the better ones. And it's actually also backwards compatible, which is nice, so. Yeah, so, th that one's a nice one. And it's relatively cheap, I think it was like three bucks or something. Um, I can't remember the exact price I pay for most of these games, actually, I've had them for quite some time. Uh, Crackdown and Crackdown 2 are free, so if you have, if you, um, don't have them, they're free, um, I recommend them. They're great, um, they're challenging as heck, though. Uh, Diablo 3 demo, like I said, I'm still trying to, um, figure out if I'm actually going to buy some of these games, um, if I ever get the chance to, because if you guys don't know, I'm actually dipping in my at my cottage right now. And so you can actually see my bed behind me. So, a lot of these are just demos and stuff like that. Um, Bolt, uh, Disney's Bolt, again, that was a game with gold at one point. Um, and I, like I said before, I don't have gold, but I'm still able to play that game, which is awesome. Dritos Crash Course, um, again, that was an old, old game. Like, we're talking... Like 2009? 
Uh, when did this game come out? Uh, like we're talking like easily like 2001 maybe. Let me just look up that game quickly. Uh, oop, I spelled that wrong. Uh, 2010. Um, they did have a sequel, but unfortunately that one got um delisted in October fifteenth or on October fifteenth, uh twenty fourteen. So that game is free, so if you do want it, uh, it's there for you. Unfortunately, 2 is no longer available. Um, if by some chance it does become available again, I will try to grab it as quickly as I can. Um, we have Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, so it's sort of a spin-off uh, Far Cry 3 game. Very, very fun. Challenging as heck game, though. Fun, but challenging. Uh, Fez, like I said, um, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm actually going to buy the game. It's fun, but, mm, is it really worth me to, to spend the 10 bucks that, that it is. Then we have Gears of War, uh, 2, 3, Judge, uh, Gears, Gears of War, 2, 3, and Judgment. Um... A little backstory about those four games. Um, I ended up actually getting those games for free because I pre-ordered Gears of War 4 on Xbox. And because again, at that point, I think they were Play Anywhere. At least 4 was. I was like, hey, great. Um, I actually wanted to play 4 anyways. Um, so... Um, I was like, yeah, why not, um, uh, no, it's digital, um, um, so I was like, hey, why not? Whenever I get an Xbox, um, either 360 or one, I can play them. Most of those showed up on my one immediately. A couple of them actually took months um, to show up on my account. And one of them even took a couple years to show up on my account just because of um, issues and stuff like that. So um, they're fun games. Um, I ended up getting them for free because of pre-ordering Gears 4. I do actually have Gears 4 on Xbox One and PC. Um, so if you do have them, I recommend playing them. They are backwards compatible. Um, sick. Um, fun games. Um, Hexic HD, again, a fun game. Uh, challenging. Um, I am trying to go for a full completion of this game, um, but it's it's challenging. Um, uh, 
Injustice, Gods Among Us, I think... I think that's free, actually. I think that was free for a little bit, I think. Let me just make sure. In, uh, J Um, yeah, um, it is no longer free, actually, it's like $23 right now, Tw uh, 19 .99. um, I ended up getting it while it was free over the summer this year, so I ended up saving myself some money there. Great game, backwards compatible, um, Um, Joyride Turbo again. I think that was um a Games of Gold uh game again a couple months ago or something. But again, I ended up grabbing it and can still actually play it. Um, this game, Sp uh, Legend of Spyro. Dawn of the Dragon is stupidly expensive physically. Like I think um, you're looking easily like ninety dollars. Uh, I can't spell. Literally, like, no joke. Um, on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to it. You're looking right now at oh, it's actually cheap right now. Like, it's if you want it new, you're looking at like a hundred bucks easy. Yeah, you're looking at about a hundred bucks for the game, brand new. So I decided saying, okay, I can't afford it. Can I buy it digitally? Yes, and digitally is what I would recommend um, for it. Unfortunately, it, it is not backwards compatible. Um, it's a really fun game, uh, actually. It's a really fun game. I actually did a video on it a couple months ago. Um, mm. Really fun game, challenging but fun. I may attempt a full run of that game. Uh, and then we have Lego Star Wars 2, um, original trilogy. Um, I can't remember if I, that was a games with. I think that was a games with gold. Um, game at one point. I can't remember when. But again, still can end up playing it even though I don't have uh, Games of Gold. Uh, we are on game 21 of 28. Uh, for those wondering. Uh, very fun game. Probably won't go for a full completion just because it's a bit of a pain. I'll probably do main story for most of them. And then I'll probably go back if I really want to and... Uh, Clean up, clean up the rest, but I don't really care about that sort of stuff. I just want to get through main games. Uh, Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga. Where are you on my list here? Digital. So, funny thing about this game is I was trying to track it down physically for 360, and unfortunately. Fortunately, so I did end up getting a copy, but it was after I think about three months of waiting for them to say, hey, by the way, it's in. And normally, it takes a couple of days for them to bring it in, let me know. But I just got fed up to say, hey, screw it, I'm just going to buy it digitally. Literally, the day that I bought it digitally, they called me say, hey, by the way, it's in. I'm like, yeah, you can sell it, because 
I just ended up buying it digitally. I do end up having it uh, physical for PS3. So for me, it doesn't really matter. It, w it would be nice to have it um, physically, but it is what it is. Um, Batman, Batman 2, DC Superheroes. Do I actually have that on here? No, I don't. Actually, that's strange. I thought I did. Okay. 50. Go. DC. Oop, I can't spell. Again, I think that was uh, a Games with Gold one as well. Um, this one was just like a free, um, free game, I think. No, it wasn't free. It was, I think, like two bucks or something. So I was like, yeah, why not? Try it. Uh, Pinball FX 2, um, that game actually is, uh, actually kind of no longer working, uh, um, we have Rage 2 demo, uh, Tetris Splash demo, and then we also have uh, Toy Story, which I thought I had on my list here, but I guess not. Uh, oh. Okay, I guess I'll add that one. Oops, I miss. Uh, there you go. So that is my full collection of Xbox 360 games. Um, for some reason, it's saying that I have. Um, where is it here? On my list here. If I can find it. Um, Clone Wars. So let's see if I can if I can actually um, grab that game right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, browse games. Uh, search search games. We want I go uh, Star Wars. Oop, I need to continue. Let's see. Yeah, nope, I don't actually have it. But saying I do. Huh? Let me check my download history. That's not it. Here it is. Purchase history, maybe? Let's, let's wait and see. Uh, 
Because I'll be really surprised if um, if I have it. I don't think I have it though. Bunch of these games I do want to rebuy, um, either digitally or physically at some point. It would be nice to uh, have um, have it, but like I said, I'm not too picky. If I don't have it, I don't have it. But I just uh, feel in saying don't owned or something. Oh, can't connect to website, okay. Uh, oop. You want to treat? Yes. Okay, so let me try download history. Okay, there you go. Uh, so we're looking for Lego Star Wars. There's Lego Star Wars 2. We're looking for Lego Star Wars 3. There's all my Destiny stuff. There's Doritos. There's all the Halo Reach stuff. Force Unleashed 2 demo. Yeah, I guess I don't have it. Unfortunately. Oops. There we go. I'm just uh, going through my list here and s and just filling in uh, the last remaining um, holes in my list here. So that is my list of 52 games. And I'll be back in one second. Uh, here. That off. And we are back. So, as you can see, I have 52 games. My total has gone up to 155 games. 
totaled up. And I have them sorted by Xbox One, 360, PS3, and PS4. 155 games. What I was doing was putting in our, do I have them physically versus digital? And then these ones here, uh, um, I'm putting in yellow, basically saying, um, I need to buy them again. So I need to buy Darksiders 2, uh, Ghosts, uh, Mortal Kombat, which I actually own, actually. And that was, that is, a uh, digital. Um, it's just sitting behind me in my, uh, closet, uh, no go. Um, so yeah, so that's my list for Xbox, uh, 360. My Xbox One list, uh, is a little bit more extensive. Um, some of them are backwards compatible, and I'll put that in, in a category here, probably saying, um, other system or something. So, like, if I own, let's say, um, Destiny 2 here, I have that on all my systems, PC, um, Xbox One, and obviously PS4. So I'll put PC and PS4 in that category. Uh, Forza would be PC and Xbox One. Uh, Slime Rancher would be PC as well. I own that game. Wait, no I don't. I don't own that game on PC, I don't think. I have to check, but I know I have it on Xbox, obviously. Um, Master Chief Collection would be PC and Xbox One, uh, PC and Xbox One, PC, Xbox One, uh, I think I have that on PC, I think? And then, like, um, are they a service? Like, did I, or did I get them through Game Pass, or, um... Or are they a, a demo, basically? Like, I'll have a, one here saying, Trial for Watch Dogs. And then I'll say, like, do I own it, or whatnot. Like, I have done for here. Like, is it digital, or something like that. Um, my PS3 isn't that extensive. I have more digital than I have physical. This one, why it says physical slash digital, is because I own two copies. I own a digital version and a physical. Um... PS4, I have a lot more. Uh, I have a lot of... Uh, I Oh, wait. Uh, this one actually... Uh, should not be there anymore. Uh, because I don't own that game. I don't own that game anymore. I it's on my. I don't own that game anymore. I traded it in when I went with back to my back to Xbox with the One S all digital. And I've told that story before, so I won't reiterate it. So oh, Death Stranding should also be gone as well because I don't own that game anymore. Same with uh, Infinite Warfare. I don't own that game anymore. Uh, Persona 5, I don't own that either. Neither do uh, I own... Um, that one anymore. But everything else looks good though. Um, huh?
There you go. That makes sense now. Because I actually own uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 physically. <laughs> it was just odd that it wasn't listed. I'll have to grab the uh, size off the back of the disc. Um, or off the case to put that in properly. But yeah, I've been... So that is... Uh, thir yeah, it's still saying 155 even though... So yeah, that's what I've been doing over the last few months is just updating this and correcting it and making sure everything's all set up the way that I would like it to be. <sighs> very, very time consuming. But anyways, bye-bye. Uh,